Thea Magazine has a date with a definitely adult entertainer. Story offensive. There's no denying that. And we're not going to kid around about it. So here's a warning of what's to come. Tonight, we're going to visit the Darcel 15 Tavern right here in Old Town. It has a reputation for a rather unique form of entertainment. If you don't like it, you probably aren't alone, so don't feel bad. But if you do, well, that doesn't make you any different either. There are lots of people who think this place offers some pretty great entertainment in our town. Whatever your feelings, though, Darcel's is considered an institution. It's a point of controversy. And it's definitely a change of pace in Portland's nightlife. We thought it was just about time to take a look at what goes on inside this tavern. If you think you're going to be offended, you can consider yourself duly warned. If not, come on along. It promises to be an experience you won't soon forget. Walter Cole. He owns the Darcel 15 Tavern, has a hand in every phase of its operation. When Walter first bought the bar back in 1967, about all he could do was pour beer. That was the law back then, but not anymore. The law changed, and so did the tavern. During the day, the tavern bustles with pre-show activity. There's always that last-minute alteration to take care of, or a design to finish, or just a little shop talk. This is all a part of the life Walter loves. It started so long ago. It started with, with local theater groups. Uh, when I first got my feet wet on stage, and I first heard the audience screaming and carrying on, um, uh, that's when it really started with, with Walter. That's when I said, uh, God, I, I love show business. Yes, Walter's been in the theater business around town for years, but Darcel, well, that's a different story. Darcel was born just 10 years ago with a borrowed name from a favorite actress, Denise Darcel, and a whole new look for the old Walter Cole. Uh, it, was like, uh, it was like a house party when we started not knowing that it would come to this. Hello, Louie. It's so nice to be back home where I belong. What do you say to the people who say, yuck, this is offensive? I say, we are entertainers. First and foremost, we are entertainers. It's the oldest form of entertainment in the world our kind of entertainment, female impersonators, since the beginning of time, Shakespeare, was all done by men. All of the roles were done by men. So we're entertaining in that dress. We're not, we're not in the dress because of sexual reasons, because it's a big hang-up in our heads. We're there because we're entertaining. I have always been a woman who arranges things for the pleasure and the profit it derives. I think a lot of people are into being curious. I think a lot of people are into uh, uh, coming uh, for their umpteenth time because they are in love with what's happening. I think a lot of people come in and bring out-of-town guests to show them, look, this is Portland. This is what, look what we have in Portland. We're as big city as, as San Francisco, New York, or wherever. Get everybody into the act. That's the policy at Darcell's. The more the audience gets into the nightclub atmosphere, the better the show seems to go, and the more interesting it is for everybody. <laughs> On a night like this, during the week, the house is usually pretty tame, full of friends and party groups. Lots of people come to Darcells to celebrate special occasions. Happy birthday to you. 
most of the time, the smaller weeknight audiences like this one are friendly. They're lighthearted and really into the spirit of Darcells. But on the weekends, with the larger crowds, come the hecklers and the headaches for Darcell and company. I've, I, I haven't, I've heard everything that ever, there is to be said from, from the floor. They cannot come up with something new that I haven't heard. I've been called everything from the floor. It's, it's hard sometimes not to get angry. Uh, uh, because, you know, uh, no matter what business you're in, it's marvelous to be accepted, you know? And when you see, see that somebody is saying, oh, you're really nothing, it's, it's difficult. But Darcel always wins. The audience is on her side, not the hecklers. And even the hecklers add something to the party atmosphere here at Darcel's. <laughs> Everything is big and bold. The production numbers are full of bright colors and plenty of action. The performers may just mouth the words to songs, but that doesn't make their act any less convincing or entertaining. But despite the crazy fun feeling and the pure showbiz of it all, there are still those who would say, why on earth would anybody want to spend good money and time to see a bunch of men parading around in dresses? Yuck. You don't have to get involved in it. You know, nobody would ask you to get involved in it. See it. Open up to it. Be able to say, hey, it's good. You know, that, what we're seeing is entertainment. They're having a good time with it. I can see it as entertainment. I can walk away from it. I tell people, you know, when I shake hands, sometimes people won't shake my hand when I walk into the audience. I tell them it won't rub off. They'll be all right. That's their problem. When they say, ugh, Darcel and company are a bunch of sickies, that's their problem. They have to adjust to it. We are adjusted. We're adjusted to our lives. My life is fuller now than it ever was. 10 years ago. It's four now. We travel, people know Darcel. They know the name. If they've never met Darcel, they've never seen Darcel, they know the name. We've become that, that well-known. My whole life has changed because of Darcel. And I love it. <laughs> it's Joe Alberson's supermarket, but the fruit well, you decide. But whether you like the entertainment or not, you just saved yourself some money. You got in free. It usually costs $3 at the door. We'll be back in a moment with a look at Friday's PN Magazine. All the way to Ork and right back home to our own Portland. But however you feel about those two performers, they are definitely committed to what they do. Or should be committed for what they do. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. Let's take a look at tomorrow night's program. We'll meet a man. For accurate, up-to-the-minute news reporting, take a look with the people who bring you the news on Channel 8. Ralph Wenge and Robin Chapman at 5 and 11. Pete Schulberg and Kathy Smith at 6. News 8 at 5, 6, and 11. Now, stay tuned for a great lineup of NBC Entertainment.